Oh, I love this. Uh, uh, Umfi, the ring, researcher, questions, confusion. You, you were to be sacrificed for the ritual of, for, in this laboratory. You should never have been down here. You are ruining our plans. Who sent you down here? Our instability, our sense of Scooby-Doo. I don't know if you guys will believe what we've got to say, but it was a diary. Let's see, uh, stop, please. This was sarcasm. Please continue so that I may stab you to death. Incredibly, I must take my exit. I rarely ever leave work on time, for I wear so many hats, just all of the hats. If you really think about it, we're all just a hat in time. What you got for me? What, what, what serial mode do we got here? Oh, we got head Oomphy himself. It's Oomphy Prime. Hey guys, you want to roll some tails or heads? That'd be that'd be pretty baller. Just saying, just asking nicely for a friend. Except you, Heathcliff. You need to roll tails. Please stop. Flip tails, you goof. Thank you. God. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Don Quixote wiggling for her life out here. Oh no. Yeah, it's the evade. Okay, no, I'm not dealing with that. We're gonna bring a sinking team. Sink this, bitch. Man, it's much better when he's the one failing on his rolls. Mr. Negative 39 over here. All right, kill him. Get him, guys. Get him. Thank you. And there goes Angela. The ring playing at the being the oomphy. What is this? Some kind of pop art? The the ring? What's the ring? What the middle's neighbor or something like? I'm just gonna be an idiot right now. Don't want me to. <laughs> they run their own gallery and display their own art, but none of their work is quite to my taste. Ryoshi, you're being oddly sane right now. I don't. What is happening? How pitiful you do not understand the true philosophical beauty of pointillism. Oh, is it about getting the point? I don't know why. But I feel immense regret not being allowed to help the sinners. I feel conflicted. And then I remember, I don't give a shit. <laughs> Heathcliff. <laughs> and it was just starting to get interesting. And there she goes. What are you going to do, Heathcliff? Like, I'm pretty sure she's still dead and she's in a coffin. So like, obvious, isn't it? I'm going to get kid out of there. Out of that experiment pod. A machine, a coffin, uh, whatever it is. And then we're going to we're gonna go off and be ha happily ever after, you know? <laughs> uh, uh, but what about, uh, I don't think, listen, none of these end happily, Heathcliff. I don't. Uh, but what about all those people in the glass pods? Uh, don't think you can stop me with your meaningless police. You already know what a heartless bastard I am. You know how much I've been waiting for this moment. Cliff. Like, wait, like, give us some time. Like, there has to be, like, the shut down the power supply or, like, something. Like, then we'll pick up, like, the golden bow from this coffin. Like, then... Don't! Don't lecture me! Don't you even try! Do you really think you could change my mind? Like, kinda? Maybe this was the time to beat the sense back into him, like we discussed earlier on the bus. Honglu and Gregor, get ready. Prepare the puns and the poor people jokes. We will just SP him into a pulp, into a puddle. Oh, he could take it easy, lad. Yes. But, Mr. Hilly, I did advise that some problems require deeper consideration when everything suddenly starts to go wrong in your life. The cause has got to be lurking somewhere, hiding out of your sight. I've been giving some uncles when some lure arrived in my home. Violin. Oh my god, he really did turn into a villain because of a violin. He oh should die. There's some cum and some colors. Bash in a poo poo hole. Listen, you could say no. Carbon could say no. You could say no to her. It's really easy. Who's that? I don't understand a word you just said, guys. Just beat him into a pub already. Crush his skull, thank you. Yes, exactly. You understand. Oh man, this is a nice lady over here. This nice lady has a violin for me over here. So, with her nice as the game matter, Miss Cornboard. It's simply as it should be. 
Look at you. He did in a woo. Near, near. We found your puppy. We found the puppies. Give him the love his father never did. Oh, we're gonna love on him so bad. Don't you worry. <laughs> wiggle. Emergency wiggle maneuvers. Oh my god, she made it out of that. Well, baby Heathcliff. Look at him. Look at how adorable he is. How is this is actually him sober. This is before he got drunk. <laughs> Why? Are you are you laughing at me? Huh? Why? Why would you say something like that? I, I never laughed at you. Simply wanted to know why you don't appear very happy to see me. It's because it's been so long since we've last met. Why? You're so dirty. <laughs> dirty. You're right. That's just the way I was born. I have one kid voice. I like to be dirty. I'll be as dirty as I want to be. He just goes around and roll, rolls around in mud. The day when Heathcliff denied me for the first time, I've never seen a prouder smile on my brother than when he watched it happen. Gathering you shrew, you just conspire your husband, take him home. We got his sanity down. Oh my god, that sand loss, yeah. Sinking, baby! How are you alive, woman? <laughs> god! The Odyssey had a purpose. It always has a purpose. The purpose is the Odyssey. Gun Volcana. <laughs> Plenty of that. <laughs> oh, and she even got the kill! That Catherine died because you dared to set foot in our manor, interloper. You, you are but a wretched devil that never should have come to our home. Well. Your father likes me more than he likes you. Eh. Don't know why you ended up a dog and not a violin. I wanted a violin distortion. You might be the one warming yourself by the fireplace now, but I'm the one your father truly cares about. Me, a poor child from the filthy back streets. Wow, he just rubbing it in. Oh, poor Heathcliff. He should have never said such a thing. You very doggo. Come on, hit me if you wanna. I can take it. What do you think your father will have to say when he sees the wounds you've inflicted on me? His words would turn into thorny roots and bury themselves in my brother's heart. As long as he lived, no matter how many times he thrashed, he'd flip to exhaustion, or how much time passed after our father's death, they remained. Yes, this is when Hindley began to believe that Heathcliff was here to take everything he had ever had. You'll give him back. Give it back my home, violin, my future! Man, Heathcliff really did just ruin this kid's life. <laughs> Gonna pull the lever? Yes, I am! Before anyone had the chance to stop him, Heathcliff bolted up to the machine and grabbed the dead rabbit's boss by the collar. <laughs> I knew that something was off about you earlier. Went with the mask and the red eyes and the evil vibes. Now I can think of two possibilities. What? The gaffer's lost while I was gone. It's about to go on and be up to me to beat the sense back into it. Uh, two! He seemed to range lunatic who's on only pretended to be the boss, some mental F. Uh, who should never be allowed anywhere near Catherine? If you're really hip, you must know at least know your own name. Huh, what is it? So, it's a Matt? I suppose you didn't go by Matt, dear, then. I've grown complacent. I've wasted quite a lot of time and effort in attempting to learn his mannerisms. I haven't practiced this accent for like six days. You know how hard it is to do this accent? Just like this. Sit your ass down, pour me a pint, Heathcliff. What a bloody gloomy day it is. Yeah. Yeah. That stance looked familiar. Wait a minute. Heathcliff doesn't have any siblings, does he? Well, you had one job, buddy. Alright, well, there goes Hong Lu. His poor person jokes have caught up to him. Just start over. You're gonna slap. That's fine. You can slap Mersal all you want. Clearly what you do is you don't bring any cohesion into a fight. <laughs> you just bring whatever random garbage you got. Didn't even get to the ego. Oh wow! These guys die so easily, I'm getting more mental power out of it. Hong Lu thrives on murdering poor people. <laughs>
killing ignorant people. <laughs> but Chad, isn't ignorant and poor the same thing? Oh my, oh my God, Hong Lu. <laughs> so, so you want to kill yourself? Oh, I'm sorry. I know you're pretty jealous of over the 10,000 different ways I could insult you. So I'll just stick with the, the simple uh, ignorant one. You may have invented glass, but you sure could invent happiness. <laughs> just you saying rolling up his sleeves. I have too many bitches to stab in this dungeon already.